Let's set a simple Next.js React project with the D3 library um, using minimum code. To get started, go to terminal and type in yarn create next app. During the installation, it's going to ask you what is your project named. Um, so I'm going to call it, you can give it whatever name you want. Um, I'm going to call it um, next.js dash ts for typescript dash chart and then you can see it's going to install all those uh, it's going to install react react dom and next so i'm going to skip to when the installation is complete now that the installation is complete um, change directory into your new project And um, in order to um, run it, um, just type in yarn run dev, and that's going to open the app in the, um, it's going to start a server on port 3000, so either 000 or localhost 3000. Open up the browser, and there you have it. So we're at the welcome page. Now let's open our project in your favorite ID. Now inside the ID, I want to point something out. The React um, Next.js is set up with um, JavaScript. Now if you want to use TypeScript for your type checker, um, just like we did with Create React App, what we need to do, we need to install a few things. First thing we need to install, and we can install the developer de dependencies. We need to install TypeScript. We need to install the types for React. And we need to install the types um, for Node. So install those libraries. Next, let's uh, install um, D3 so we can uh, create a simple chart. Instead of using the entire D3 module, um, you know, if you want the entire D, uh, D3 module, you need to just do D3 and types um, D3. But what we're going to do, we're only going to use the select, so we can just just um, install that module we need, which is the D3 selection. So install um, D3 selection and the D3 um, selection type. Now that the installation is complete, um, let's uh, um, create another folder. <clears throat> And I'm going to be calling it component. So, oops, let's try it again. New um, directory, components. And if you notice, Create React App already came with a predefined folder structure. And the template that I used, I added more um, directories. But um, next, uh, JS is really. Um, using a minimum code so they don't put that and what we're going to be doing is let's create another directory for a component let's call it uh, rectangle and inside I'm going to use the same rectangle we used from our uh, previous section you can take a look at the rectangle this is the same code we used before what it does it just um, draw a rectangle and hello world and it does the SVG so you got the SVG you got the rectangle and you got the hello world this is the same code that we used in uh, even in section one this is just minimum code now the next thing we need to do is we need to just include our component in our entry point our entry point is if you look inside of the root we have pages and under pages we have index so it's inside of index that's our entry point so what we want to do is we want to change um, i'm going to take everything um, under the div and delete it and then i'm going to add a rectangle component and also i'm going to clean up we don't need the head and we don't need the image so i'm going to clean that up um, last thing I want you to notice is if you look inside of your root project, it should add um, tsconfig 
and that's the configuration file for TypeScript. If it doesn't edit, then just edit manually and give instructions on how to handle, um, you know, all those flags in regards to how to handle TypeScript. So if it doesn't edit for you, when you install TypeScript, it should edit you. If it doesn't, just edit manually. Um, now make sure you're running the library and let's take a look in the browser. Here we go. So we have the same example that we created in the first section of this course, just using Next.js. As you can see, you can really create your component and you can just drag and drop them into um, SSR library like Next.js and everything is working. So even though we're working throughout this entire course with uh, create react app that doesn't mean that you need to publish that way and um, it was uh, and you can see it's really easy to kind of migrate um, to another framework it our case is next.js